here at the Calvary IPMU, we would like to understand really basic questions about the universe humankind have been asking for millennia, like how did it begin, where it's going, what it's made of, what are its basic laws, and why do we exist in it? And these are the questions we'd like to answer. Anybody with PhD in, let's say, physics, astronomy, or mathematics can join the Kavli IPMU to work with us. And we especially would welcome people from all around the world. We offer two unique things at the Kavli IPMU. One of them is that we have access to great facilities that are unique in the world. Another unique things we can offer at the Calvary IPMU is that we have mathematicians, physicists, and astronomers working on the same roof, mingling with each other every day at a tea time. And this kind of environment doesn't exist anywhere else in the world as far as I know. For people who came here to work at Calvary IPMU have been incredibly successful. 90% of postdocs who left this place are still in academia. 40% have already landed on faculty positions. So people do come here, work here for a while, write papers, and go to other great places, and they end up in a great career. My research studies dark matter using a technique called gravitational lensing, which is a consequence of the theory of general relativity. I joined Kavli IPMU because of an amazing camera that's installed on the Subaru telescope, which is currently the largest camera in the world. It stands three meters high and it weighs three tons. There are two really interesting things about IPMU. One is that it's very dedicated to research, so we have uh, an incredible amount of time to do research. And secondly, it just has a wonderful community of very qualified and interactive people from a broad variety of disciplines. Kavi IPMU really helped me establish roots here, especially with respect to childcare. There's a wonderful uh, daycare uh, on campus where I can walk in five minutes and pick up my son. It's very unique in the sense that inside Japan, I couldn't find any place where physicists and mathematicians are this close. Even outside of Japan, I know almost no place where we can discuss it in, in this kind of distance. When I was in the Department of Mathematics in Tokyo, I was only talking with mathematicians very close to my field, arithmetic geometry. But after I came here, I discussed also uh, in, the, in, in the field of mathematics, who are uh, very far from, from what I, I'm doing now. So in that sense, not only uh, collaboration with physicists, but also discussing with uh, mathematicians who are not doing close from what I do is a very good thing in called the IPMU. My name is Luis Martí Magro and I'm working here in Japan for the Super Kamiokande experiment. I'm an experimentalist. So there is this site, which is the usual thing. You go to an office, you work on your data and your uh, simulations. Then there is this other cool part where you go into the mine, deep into the underground. And uh, it's a kind of cool thing that you have to go deep underground to be able to watch into the stars, which is really cool. Working here is the people, the very great physicists working here. It's very exciting to work with them, very attractive, very compelling. I came to Cavalry IPMU because it was clearly an opportunity to be involved in the most exciting new initiative in theoretical physics uh, in the world. Conferences and seminars are extremely important for stimulating research. They bring in the most excellent researchers from all over the world. Physics doesn't happen in isolation, certainly not, not our kind of physics. Uh, it thrives on interactions between the smartest people in the world. And Kavli IPMU, the structure of Kavli IPMU, makes that possible. The tea times are essential. Uh, there are a lot of structured, formal activities that we learn a lot from and get a lot out of, but there is nothing, nothing, nothing that can take the place of unstructured, informal interaction between uh, researchers. And the cookies are extremely delicious. So my name is Charles Melby Thompson, and I'm a physicist. Now, I decided to come to Kavli IPMU because it's a top-class institution with a lot of great people, 
and also because it's in Japan. And I have a long love for Japan, and so when I got the offer, it was, it was an immediate decision. The life in Japan is great. It's full of all sorts of unexpected gems. Anywhere from cultural opportunities, music, food, it's, it's just really fantastic experience. When I first got the offer from IPMU in an email, I was enthused. The chance to work at IPMU combined with the chance to be in Japan was the perfect thing, and I knew immediately it was the place I wanted to go. At Calvary IPMU, we really would like to expand our horizon, understand the universe in an exponential way. For example, we have a project that would allow us to project the future of the universe into a trillion years from now. Another project we'd like to address really the very first moments of the universe when the whole universe was like much smaller than the size of an atom. So we'd like to expand our horizon in an exponential way of where we stand today. Well, all these questions we're asking about the origin of the universe, the fate of the universe, really touch on, you know, really the basic questions about humanity. Where do we come from? Where are we going? Why are we here? So the kind of questions we're asking here at the Calvary IPMU really encompasses not just physics, astronomy, mathematics, but also down to philosophy, to some extent even theology. So these are really grand questions for humanity, and, and trying to understand these questions really excite us. One of the dreams we have is that, let's say, 200 years from now, people would rem remember this place, that this is the place we understand this aspect of the universe for the first time ever in the whole world.